but in his past was a life-threatening illness that led him to St. Jude. Though a baby at the time, he sets it up very well. When I was 22 months old, I had a tumor in my spine, which ironically we found out because my dad dropped me from a shopping cart or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a true. blessing in disguise. They moved us to Tennessee where St. Jude was. And when we got there, it was like, everyone was super nice and they made it feel like very like at home and stuff. That accident may have saved his life. No injury, but a startling discovery. We got him checked out because we thought maybe he had broken a bone. The x-ray didn't show anything, but he still continued to deteriorate. Uh, eventually ended up um, getting an MRI and there was about a golf ball sized tumor in his spine. Frightening news, but Jacob's dad, David, said the power and confidence of their team at St. Jude was infectious. The doctors had a plan. Let's do everything possible to get your kid healthy. And healthy he is. At five years past, the doctors have placed him in the survivor category. Every time I see them, I want to give them a hug and just thank them because they got us through a really tough time. I always ask these very special young people, what do you want to be when you grow up? Jacob wants to be a sportscaster. Here's a sample. Marco Santosilva chucks it up to McClung. He's dribbling, he's dribbling. He shoots with one second. Bang! Texas Tech wins the game. <laughs> and because of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and your support, Jacob gets to stay in the game. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.